What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to add interior walls to our floor plan of our building model. And we are going to learn the basic of adding and modifying walls using some of the tools that you can find here on the modify tab. And this is what I'm talking about. These tools here on the modify panel, especially this uh, trim extend to corner. Okay, but we'll be able to use also the other uh, tools here on our modify panel. All right, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is here in this area, I'm going to select this uh, wall here. And then on the modify panel, the first tool that we'll be using is copy. Okay, so let's use the copy. When you click the copy, you'll be able to select here the options uh, constrain. The other one is multiple. Since I'm just going to copy this one time, so you can leave it as it is, as multiple, or you can just uncheck that one. Okay, and then constrain here, the movement will going to be vertical only or horizontal only as you copy the wall. So you can, again, you can uncheck that if you want and click the base point and just make sure that you move your pointer uh, straight above. But if you want... To have a complete control moving it vertical or horizontal so you can just make it constrained just check, check the constraint and then you can just move it up left and right without worrying it will go to other angle it's just vertical and horizontal all right so I'm gonna hover my pointer above and then I'm gonna type the distance so let's say 6,000 and then enter okay and then after that, I'm just going to pan my drawing. I'm going to select this one here. And then I'm going to cop I'm gonna copy that to the right side. So I click this wall. Same procedure, just click the copy. And then uh, I'm going to pick the base point here. Move to the right. And then I'll type the distance. Let's say 3,600. And then just click outside to deselect or terminate the copy tool okay so the the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, change the type so let's change the type of power wall so let's click the wall here hold control to select additional wall and add it to the selection so we now have two walls here selected so as you can see that's an exterior siding type so we don't want that wall type so I'm gonna change that to interior uh, one two three mm partition one hour so I'm gonna select this and then just click outside okay next let's use another tool here from our modify panel so this time let's use the offset okay offset shortcut is OF so let's click offset and then here on our options bar uh, you have two options. So you have graphical option. The other one is numerical option, which is what we are going to use. We need to specify here the offset distance. So let's change that one. So let's say I want 1,800 and then enter. And then just make sure uh, copy here is check. All right. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to offset this one here. So make sure the preview is below. So you just need to move your pointer a little lower this wall because if you move your pointer up as you can see the preview now is above so you will be creating the wall above so just move your pointer a little lower there you go and then click to place the new wall okay and then after that I'm just gonna select here uh, modify now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this wall here I only want this wall here this wall up to this wall here so I don't want that wall above so this time we will be using this trim extend single element okay so let's click this one and then you need to select the boundary up to what extent or up to what point you want to trim the wall so I only want up to this line here you click that and then you select the side that you want to remain so you want to remain this wall so you click this 
and there you go so it's now removed using theme extent single element now since we already know how to use the copy i'm going to use another way to copy an object so this time we will be using uh, array okay so it creates a linear or radial array of selected elements so let's click this one okay so let's click this wall here then uh, enter okay and then here on our options bar so make sure linear is selected and then i want that to be group and associate so i'll just leave it as it is just leave it check and then here on the number you need to specify the total number that you will be uh, doing including the original so if i want three here so i'm just gonna type here three that includes the original wall so i'm gonna type here three okay and move to second and then i'm gonna pick the base point here i'm going to move to the right the pointer again for complete control because i only want this to be horizontal i don't want to accidentally click another point with a different angle i'm just gonna check here constraint like that okay so let's move our pointer to the right and then you specify the distance so you can type here let's say 4200 and then enter there you go since they are group and associate you can always change this one so if you want to make that let's say five enter so you can do that if you want to make that three only enter okay and then select modify so these walls are group and associated so you can click one of the wall and then you can change if you want okay right so after we have learned how to use the uh, array the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to uh, select the three walls that we have created and then we are going to mirror that to the other side okay so let's use window selection like this or again you can click one by one click one hold control click the other two walls like that and then from the modify this time let's use mirror draw axis so let's click this and then again copy here is check we are going to snap at the midpoint this is the midpoint of the uh, south part of this wall so you click here and then you click another point here okay basically that's the mirror line you need to pick two points okay so now the next thing that I'm gonna do is so let's say for example I want to create an opening here okay I want to create an opening so for me to be able to do that I need to split the wall okay so to split the wall you can use the split element here so it's like break in AutoCAD so you can click split element okay and then you can just split this okay so it's now already split so you can now use this one dream extend to corner so you click dream extend to corner then you click the two sides that you want to remain this one this one and this one all right and then just select here modify okay so now the next thing that i'm gonna do is uh, i'm going to select the three lines here uh, about how about these walls here this one here and then this walls here okay so I'm going to select this three wall and then after that I'm gonna use here um, mirror again so I want that to be mirrored to the other side so last time we have used this one mirror draw axis wherein we pick two points so this time let's use this one mirror pick axis so let's click this and then I'm gonna pick the center line of this wall and there you go 
and then I'll just select here modify now I'm gonna extend this wall here so I'm gonna ungroup these walls here because currently it is group okay so I'm going to select these walls here and then I'll just select your ungroup you don't need to group that okay and then the next thing is we're going to extend that here to extend we will be using this one okay so we already use trim extend to corner trim extend single element this time we will be using trim extend multiple elements because we are going to extend these multiple uh, walls here to this wall so you click that and then you click the wall here that is where you want to extend and then you click the wall that you want to extend all right okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select your modify to terminate the tool is I'm going to split this wall here so I want to split this wall okay so I'm gonna use the split again I'm gonna split here there you go so it's now split and then I'm going to select here uh, modify to terminate now the next thing is I'm gonna copy this wall or let's say I'm just gonna move this so I'm gonna select this wall here and then I'm going to use the move tool now before I move this I'm gonna make sure that I'm going to disjoin it because it's still joined with the other side although it's already split you can select separately but they are still joined okay so that's why I'm gonna select here this join so that I can move this wall without any problem with the other walls there so I'm gonna click the base point here and then I'm gonna move up with the distance of uh, let's say about 3,000 enter there you go Oop. there you go okay so it's now moved okay so now the next thing that what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to clear this corner here so you know what to do just use the trim extend to corner click that one then click this one as well there you go and then I'll just select your modify okay okay now the next thing is I'll just move this wall here to this corner okay so let me just uh, click this and then let's move that let's just move that to that corner and, and just close that warning okay no issue with that okay and then this wall here I'm going to copy this one using the offset tool okay so it's just the offset with an offset distance of uh, 3000 enter then let's copy this four times so one two three four and then modify and then let's trim okay so you know what to do so just need to extend that here and then let's trim these walls here so let's use this so you know that al already and then uh, trim extend multiple elements okay so let's click that then modify mm, okay so this one is not yet attached to that wall how about use the align tool align align and uh, for the align I can just check here multiple alignment so that I only need to select the boundary one time and then I'll just proceed on selecting multiple edges that aligns to that side okay so that's the use of multiple alignment and then just select here modify okay so basically these are the some of the tools that you will be using in modeling your your Revit
these tools here on our modify panel so make sure that you will be uh, make sure that you familiarize yourself on using these tools because in doing the modeling in revit you will be using these tools okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day